My name is uh, Krishna Kishore and uh, I have a partner, his name is Karthik. Uh, together we founded this practice called K-Square Architects. Uh, it's a five-year-old firm and uh, we work on projects of uh, multiple categories, uh, residential, commercial, cinemas. Typically our approach to any project is uh, driven by our desire to enhance the human experience through the power of design. So we believe there are multiple possibilities when we introduce design into any project. This particular project is a cinema and uh, the whole project came out of the love for cinema that the client had. And interestingly, the site is in a small town called Pedanandipadu, which has only 5,000 homes. So uh, the client wanted to gift this project to the town in which he grew up. And with respect to the design brief, it was a clean slate. There's nothing much from the client's end. He just wanted to gift an experience to the people where, uh, where he grew up. Like I mentioned, the site is actually located in a very remote town, uh, which has only about 5,000 houses. And it's located on the state highway. And uh, interestingly, apart from this project, there is nothing else on all three sides up other than green paddy fields. The one main thing that we had to do when we were designing this project was uh, it couldn't go missed when someone was traveling down the road. So the facade had to call itself out. It had to be really visible, not just during the day, but during the night as well. Uh, being a single screen, it was nothing more than a rectangular or cuboid. And so what we did is we tried to introduce some smooth curves that just gel well with each other. And this defines a new shape uh, on the highway which people are not used to seeing. So it, it stays in the mind. It's more like an imagery which they will never miss when they pass by and they know, okay, this is a fourth spot where there's a theater located. And these lines actually light up at night. So at night when someone's passing by as well, these lines actually draw them. They say, okay, yeah, I know where I'm going. That's the landmark, that's the theater. Uh, being a cinema, there's not much of a program as such as a single screen. So once we enter the side, the front part is the lobby and the screen is located at the rear end. So when we were trying to approach the concept for the lobby, uh, we were really uh, mesmerized by the certain houses which we went to around the site, which had this uh, iconic double curved stairs, which was very common in affluent homes around the town. So we thought, why not replicate something of uh, that sort? So you would see something like a curve coming down and there are stairs and this is symmetrical. So it's, it's very iconic. It, people have seen this kind of stairs in old movies. So it's like bringing back those memories when we put, some, put a structure like this. So um, as one enters the lobby and uh, ascends these stairs, on the side walls, what we've done is on one side, we've actually made a collage of yesteryear heroes uh, pictures movie making stills. Cinema is very important to them. So any iconic movie stays with them for a long, long time. So we want to bring back those memories to these people as they walk up into a cinema. So the first time we visited the site, uh, like I mentioned, there's nothing but paddy fields on three sides. And it was around 5, 30, 6 o'clock in the evening and we saw this lovely flock of birds descending down into the fields. And for some reason, this image just got etched into our heads. And while we started designing, we said, how can we interpret this, uh, this beautiful scenery into this big black box that's nothing but uh, a costly treated uh, space where a movie is being projected. So from there on, we went to design these uh, light fixtures which would adorn the walls, uh, taking inspiration from the wingspan of the birds. We made prototypes and we scaled them and worked on different patterns. And uh, what you see is an arrangement of uh, what we thought was an image of nature that we, we experienced earlier. So to enhance the experience even better, so we made them into a light fixture and we gave lighting control. So when you actually switch on the automation control, you can see these lights descending down and going back up. So this is the closest we could uh, replicate nature. So and I think it's, it's more of a magical experience that one needs to feel once you go in because you're not used to an environment like this when you go for a cinema. While we were designing the seating layout, uh, the client was worried that, that the space is going to look smaller because we had to cut down a lot of seats. 
due to ergonomics. So what we thought is instead of giving a big block of single color, we'll actually mix up two colors, which would it's like a wash between two colors. So it starts off with red and fades into black at the rear, which merges with the wall paneling. So visually, at least, it looks like it's bigger than what it is. While we were actually doing this project, uh, the client is a builder, builder himself. So he had a lot of his, star, his people, workers, carrying these metal discs on their head and walking around with a lot of materials. And when, when he said he wants to gift this project to his people, and we were wondering how can we connect all his work, workforce to this project. And we actually spray painted that in gold and to gel with the decor. And we made an art installation with that. So uh, unless someone actually mentions it, probably nobody even, would even connect that this is the same material that's used there. But the moment we did that and the workers saw that it, the sparkle in the eye was, uh, was amazing. So it's, it's I, I, highlights like this that actually uh, makes a project dear to what it is. Close to our motto of designing the human experience, uh, we wanted to gift this project to the people and uh, add a bit of drama, not just through the movies they watch, but the setting in which uh, it's being showcased. After all, design can add a bit of drama too.